Welcome to Late Night with Reedy Tops. Today's guests are Dan Fornick from UD's national title football team, Nikki Luizzi from the Greek Greek staff, and musical guest Kelly Fine. And now here's your host, Reedy Tops. Hello and welcome to Late Night with Weedy Tops. I'm your host, Weedy Tops. We're coming at you live from Flyer TV Studios here in the heart of University of Dayton. With me, as always, is my dear, dear friend, Mickey Two-Tone. What up, Weedy? How, how you doing tonight, Mickey? Uh, doing good. Good show tonight. Hot show. I'm feeling good pretty guess. good about it. Feeling I'm pretty about solid. It. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of shocked that we're in here right now. You know, we're shooting inside KU, but with all the power out on campus. Like, I mean, I'm pretty excited that we're still in here a lot to shoot. Yeah, I'll tell you, I don't have any power. Um, really? It's great, though, if you love spoiled meat and being hot all night and not being able to know where you're going. If you're into those kind of things, it's great, but uh, otherwise, not so fun. Always a downer. Always a downer, Mickey. Personally, I was not affected whatsoever by the blackout. I mean, I got full power. I got cable. I... Okay. Great. Where you at, Weedy? Well, that's... Weedy? <laughs> Mickey, I can't... Okay, oh, we're, good. we're good. We're good. We're back. We're back. We're we're surge. Back. It was just a surge. That's all right. That's right. You know what? That actually leads us into our next segment. Here comes Top's Top 10 of the Week. Number 10. Buy batteries and charcoal. Number 9. Blame the outage for why your paper isn't done. Number 8. Collect firewood. There's a lot of loose branches hanging on around there on the sidewalk and everything. Number 7. Take a cool, refreshing shower. Number 6. Pray for classes to be canceled. Number 5. Party like it's 99. <laughs> Number four, practice Chinese fire drills for opening the fridge. No power going to the fridge, you gotta get in there quickly. Number three, celebrate aromatherapy. Number two, watch and laugh the Cleveland faithful listening to the game on their car radio. <laughs> and the number one thing to do when the power's out, crank call res props. There are a lot of stuff you can do when the power is out. You know, we, you know, actually, Mickey, I had a lot of the guys coming over last night. They didn't, you know, have any power or anything, so they're coming over, taking a shower, doing homework, and things of that nature. They do um, homework. Yeah, homework primarily. I know uh, a lot of people in uh, Campus South don't even have water, so... Um, I heard that, you know, yeah, I heard that. so they come over, take showers. It's fun for everybody, really. I'm charging, I'm charging a dollar shower, you know, trying to make a little profit off it, you know. I'm still yeah. opening up my door. I'm opening up my door, but I still think I should, you know, turn a little, turn a little something on the dollar there. Um, all right. Well, we've got a great show for you tonight. We have Dan Fornick from the University of Dayton's national title football team. We have Nikki Luizzi coming in from the Greek Week staff telling us more about Greek Week. That's coming up next week. And musical guest, we have Kelly Fine coming in to play us in one of her songs. Nikki, take it away. Mickey, sounding great. We have a first guest with us right now, Dan Fornick from the football team. How are you doing tonight, Dan? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, uh, were you affected by the blackout at all? Actually, I wasn't living on uh, the South Gardens. We actually didn't have any blackouts, but everyone across the street and around us did. So, yeah, I got yeah. lucky. Yeah, good for you. So, uh, let's hear about this football team, uh, national champions out here. Yeah, it's true. Uh, we had a great year last year, went 11 and 1. Uh, beat up everyone pretty well. A few, we had a few tough games, a few close calls, but I mean, we were a really tight team and everything just clicked and we were able to get something good out of it. Good stuff. So uh, let's take a look at that ring there. Huh. Yeah. Look at that. Can we get a zoom in on that ring? You know, the dimensions of that 14 karat mm. gold diamonds or anything about that? They didn't that? really Ooh. tell us. I, cubic I just, zirconia. Oh, of course. course. That's the way to go. Definitely. That's what the, the ladies are loving cubic zirconia these it. days. Not what can I say? Right here. So uh, let's see what else we got going on. Um, so, uh, I mean, winning the national title, I mean, that must have been great. I mean, that's a huge crowd to win in front of. Oh, yeah. Uh, that game was actually pretty good, but usually we have some, some somewhat weak draws. I'd like to see more students out there. But, weak draws? Yeah. For national I mean, champions. I know. We played uh, Fordham this past week, and uh, they, were, they were a good team, FCS playoff team. And we only had 3,300 fans at that game, so it was kind of disappointing. But okay, well, before I go off on that whole tangent, okay. now, FCS. Now, I understand that we're not exactly Division One football. We're Division yeah. One non-scholarship, right? Yes, no, correct. What exactly is our conference? We're in the uh, Pioneer League, okay. and uh, it's a collection of teams that are actually all over the place. Usually, divisions are kind of in a area, but we have like San Diego, Jacksonville. We have oh, two really? teams in Indiana. Yeah, so we're spread out. So I mean, it makes good for traveling. You get to see some new places, but 
the team we played, Fordham, they were a Patriot League team, and uh, that's a step higher, their partial scholarship, so they had some big guys on their team, and it was a challenge, but we were able to pull it out, thankfully. Nice, yeah. nice. So you guys like looking that solid again this year? Maybe a repeat? Ah, uh, I'd like to say so, but it's really early. We like to focus one game at a time. Gotcha. And just it's good attitude to have. So anyway, you're only saying that at this last game, 3,300 people. Yeah. Now I remember I was reading in Sports Illustrated that Michigan was complaining they had their lowest attendance. They only had 101,000. <laughs> now I know we're better than Michigan. There's just well, no. Course. There's no, <laughs> Come no way we're not better than Michigan. But we're only 3,300. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really help our case with the Stewart Street Bridge being out, and you have to take all the that's detours. That's true. That's true. But okay. I still don't think that's enough of an excuse. I don't yeah. think you guys deserve. You don't. You guys deserve more exposure. You're not getting the exposure you deserve. Oh, back and forth, something like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I understand. Well, I mean, at least you guys got homecoming coming up soon, right? I mean, well, that's yeah. a big crowd. Uh, you would like to think so, but historically, not so much. It's usually the same crowd as always. Yeah. That's just. Mick, you hearing this? Uh, I hear that. I don't even think we have a homecoming. I think we just made that up. I don't know. We don't, yeah, I don't how could we not have a homecoming? What is homecoming? Um, this is in high school. Uh, I don't know. I, I think some people used to burn uh, couches, things of that nature. No, well, I mean, that's, that can't happen. What is that? What, what would that I possibly there. promote? I wasn't there. I don't damage, destruction. I think I, I, think I remember something about hearing. Yeah, maybe. That's the rumor. Well, let's see. What can we do about this? What, what are some of the big games you guys got coming up? Uh, this past, we have uh, Robert Morris and then Duquesne, another pretty big FCS school. There'll be, there'll be another challenge. And then we go right into our division. And then we have teams like San Diego, Jacksonville. So the schedule plays out. We'll have some challenges along the way, some young, good teams. But I think if we stay together, stay strong as a team, and have some good practices and stay healthy, it'll be another good year. Well, that's all the reason I need to go. Yeah, exactly. We, gotta, we have to make this homecoming thing happen. Homecoming needs to be at our school. I mean, maybe we're not D, exactly D1, but it's still our school team. I mean, where's the school spirit? Yeah. You know what? You get back to me, and you let me know when exactly your next big game is, and we'll make that the unofficial homecoming. We'll all go to that game, and knowing that we'll win, oh, we'll, you know, celebrate as we see fit. Excellent. Dan, it was a pleasure having you. Yeah. Great being here. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. And now a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Walker Foley, and when I'm not acting in the Bull Theater, I'm treating my hair to the only product that can repair my damaged hair, hair mayonnaise. Hair mayonnaise is an organic formulation of natural conditioners actu which actually repair severely damaged hair to almost perfect condition. Specially enriched with carrot oil, keratin, and provitamin B, hair mayonnaise adds extra body and gives new life to dry, brittle, and severely damaged hair. Hair mayonnaise is the only product for my hair. Oh, that just feels like hair treatment. Hair mayonnaise, the only hair product good enough to eat. <laughs> oh, Mickey. Uh, I thought you said I could eat it. Oh. Oh, yeah, never mind, That's, never mind. I, did you read all that was in there? I mean... Uh, fragrance. Yeah, there's fragrance in there. I, I mean, yeah, you get your carotene, but what are you going to do with that fragrance? I, I don't know. All right, um, next up, we have Nikki Louisi here to talk about Greek Week. Nikki, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing very well. You look lovely, mm. might I say? Thank you. So uh, let's, hear, let's hear all about this. Like, What exactly is Greek Week? Basically, Greek Week is an event for all the Greek or social Greek organizations to get together for some friendly competition. Oh, that's fun. That's mm -hmm. fun. And it's coming about 15th to the 22nd, I believe, right? Um, yeah. Actually, one of the improvements this year from last year is that we have a Greek Week of Service the week before. So um, there's actually two weeks, if you want to think of it that way. <laughs> um, but technically, it's the 21st through the 27th. That's how they get you. That is mm -hmm. how they get you. Mm -hmm. People back there, they're not giving me the right information. You know, I'm reading all down. They're not, I don't know. They're new. It's a new guy. It's the first day. No big deal. All right, so um, what are exactly, like, there's different events, I understand. Like, mm -hmm. everyone participates in a certain competition for each day, correct? Exactly. All right, can you give me a rundown of those events? Sure. 